The Columbia University Summer Public Health Scholars Program is an enrichment program funded by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Office of Minority Health and Health Equity. Students from around the United States spend 10 weeks of the summer working with local, national, and international leaders in public health. They participate in a public health internship, take introductory public health classes, and visit communities around New York to learn about public health challenges and initiatives. Ultimately, the program fosters the personal and professional development necessary for students to become public health leaders. Public health is, uh, for me, it means education, empowerment, and just providing ease of access to uh, the complex like healthcare system because a lot of people don't really understand and we are really not educated about uh, public health and really what it is and what it does and the huge impact that it has in communities. Understanding the factors that an individual cannot control or doesn't have the power to control that influences their health uh, with the focus on preventing uh, bad health outcomes for certain groups or society at large. Breaking down barriers to access that prevent people from having healthy lives and that's beyond clinical and medical treatment. So I'm talking about education, uh, food, like fresh produce, um, community parks and walkways, things like that. Looking at things beyond the individual and looking at aiding societies through preventative measures. Hope for a future with less disparities, a future where the environment you're born into doesn't determine your health. Public health is the air we breathe, the interactions we have with people from across different cultures, and about improving the quality of life for all. I took these pictures because they represent uh, positive health initiatives that are happening in my community. Each one represents different aspects of public health. Uh, that includes environmental health, psychological health, physical health, and emotional health. I would probably, um, despite the fact that there's been really, really good health initiatives in my community, there's still need. And, um, and so I think that is one thing that I didn't really address in my pictures is to see where the disparities are and the things that could be done. I took these photos because they portrayed the public health aspects that are unique to my community, which is Honolulu, Hawaii. My community is predominantly Haitians and Haitian immigrants, Haitian Americans. I live in Little Haiti, Miami. These pictures reflect public health in my community because they show some of the challenges as well as successes of how the built environment is managed in my hometown of Detroit. So I took these pictures because they're aspects of public health that I'm passionate about. Um, they represent parts of my community, my education, and my family. I've been interning with Shulk with this uh, Choosing Healthy Active Lifestyles for Kids, and their focus uh, is really to promote the 10 healthy habits. So each habit is uh, for one month, and in the last two months, they really do more programs and interventions in schools. They work with students in schools to promote these habits and really teach them and give them the tools that will allow them to be healthy. At the same time, they partner with uh, businesses around the schools, for example, like bodegas and uh, healthcare centers or clinics that will also promote these 10 habits so that it's really a community effort and really uh, preventing obesity among kids, specifically like Latino communities. Well, there were several times that we went out into the community to really survey and see what this organization is doing for them. And it was just very good to see that they're very engaging and that they're very proactive. I'm interning at Community League of the Heights. Throughout the summer, we've been doing a community-based research participatory project. We surveyed people in the community. Do you buy vegetables when you grocery shop? Uh, usually I do, yeah. Okay. I do a lot of juices with my vegetable, carrot juice, I mix it up. Okay, awesome. Uh, in your opinion, what does it mean for food to be healthy? To be healthy, less grease, less salt, uh -huh. I guess uh, less carbohydrate. I mean yeah. carbohydrate, how do you say that? Yeah, Carbohydrate. carbohydrates, yeah. Yeah. Not only did we collect data, but we allowed people to voice their opinion. And I think a lot of them did feel like they were important when they were taking the surveys because people were asking them questions uh, about their own community. 
This summer, I interned for We Act Harlem, which stands for West Harlem Environmental Action Incorporated. And We Act is a grassroots organization that's really involved on the ground in advocacy uh, and civic engagement in West Harlem and really throughout New York City. I worked on a lot of uh, research uh, as it pertains to lead poisoning issues. I think the best memory I walk away with was a Toxic and Treasures tour that we took during our first few days there. Uh, we were able to go with some of our supervisors and other interns and explore areas of Harlem as well as Washington Heights. And for me, it was a way to get out of the office and see what's really going on in New York. Citywide is a needle exchange harm reduction program. They serve mainly homeless individuals, um, a lot of HIV work, a lot of hepatitis C work. I've gone to Chelsea to do HIV outreach. I've done HIV testing within the facility. Citywide harm reduction does a lot of um, medical treatment for people who use drugs, um, intravenous drug users. And so what is awesome about Citywide is that they have a medical home set up for the individuals, for the participants. Um, they have access to medical treatment, they have access to a pharmacy all within the same facility. They meet the participants where they're at, they don't judge, they don't criticize their lifestyles, they just try to help them out. One of the memories that I'll take away from Citywide actually happened last week. One of my coworkers did an overdose prevention on a man who was dying over, um, right over there. She had to hike up her skirt and just crawl underneath the, underneath the fence and she ended up saving his life. External factors and external forces are more attributable to health than individual behavior and that I've learned mostly through my internship at Citywide. And why that is so important to me is because I have a lot of drug abuse and homelessness within my own family and a lot of times those problems we attribute to their individual behaviors and we haven't really looked at why they are where they are and we kind of just say why can't you just get your stuff together and so for me working at a place at citywide where I have seen that within my own family has been very very eye-opening to my own personal experience and something that I need to go back home and try to change. Now I'm all like teary-eyed. <laughs> so. This program taught me a lot, but I would say the three most important things is, well, for one, that public health is really everything and it's everywhere. Um, I also learned that we really have a lot to do to improve health and healthcare in America, and that includes focusing on prevention. And lastly, I learned, which is probably most important to me, that public health really is an urban policy issue. And when it comes to my personal passion of urbanism and connecting to my hometown, Detroit, I realized that public health is really connected to the type of leadership that I'll have to do there. That minority health is extremely important. And with that, there needs to be minority representation. And only through that, um, the people's, people's voices from the marginalized populations will be able to, to be heard. and they can kind of fight together in the struggle, all of the inequalities that we talk about in this program. Uh, and lastly, a lesson that I learned is that in public health, everything is constantly changing from demographics to geographics. And so in public health, you always need to be five steps ahead anticipating those changes. If it doesn't matter to you personally, it won't matter to you professionally. This is something that they told us at the CDC during our orientation, and I've really found that to be true for me. Public health is very diverse. Um, you don't have to be a scientist to be involved in public health. I think I found a lot of myself in this program and like my self-worth and respect as well. The fact that people have invested so much in me and that really just given the opportunities that they have given me, I can achieve like anything that I want. Because of this program, I've become deeply invested in the mission and vision of public health. I see public health as a movement that's really looking to eliminate health disparities, promote health equity, and overall educate and empower communities through culturally sensitive interventions. Public health isn't just for people with higher degrees. 
Um, a lot of articles we've read about is how public health can be taken into really any person's hands in the community and how we need to integrate everyone and how everyone needs to have a place at the table. It solidified the ideas that public health starts before medical centers, before clinical treatment. Um, now I definitely have a lot of hope in what public health does as it aids as it aids societies by looking at the root of the problem and not only changing it for a short amount of time, but making sure that those changes last. When I first came here, it was to figure out what exactly do I want to do or what exactly do I want to educate people about. And then I went through this whole phase where I had no idea. And now I know that I am very passionate about working with folks who've been incarcerated and just the social outcasts of society. I thought I was going to go into private practice as a naturopathic doctor, but in my time being here and learning so much about these health disparities and the role that health, uh, public health plays in it, I think I'm really, I feel like I owe it to my community to really look into public health and doing like a public health practice instead. I feel like being here, I see that my community really is underrepresented and that it really needs somebody like me who knows my community to go back and really offer those things that are missing. My interest in environmental health is actually being rekindled and I think that I'm going to be pursuing that career. I went from in the beginning wanting to be a medical doctor to wanting to be a researcher, an epidemiologist, a nurse practitioner and now I want to go home and establish a community organization that focuses on chronic disease prevention and youth empowerment. A person who shall practice this program is just anyone who is passionate about social justice and health equity. Anyone who loves people, loves community, and is in love with the idea of improving the health of people around them. If you have a heart and a passion for serving, I would say apply to this program because it really will give you the potential and it really will ignite your passions and really push you to achieve your dreams. For students that are thinking about applying to the program, I would say do it. This program is worth it. It has taught me so much and it really has given me the opportunity to grow. Uh, well first, apply. <laughs> and then I would say when you apply and you move forward in the program, that you keep a very open mind. Um, so that includes just listening a lot, learning from all the human capital around you, from the other participants to the amazing professors and you know professionals we meet. Expect to be challenged. Um, expect your perceptions of public health to be challenged. But uh, by all means, apply for this program because I think it's the ultimate and the ideal uh, learning experience for any student. Just apply because public health can be applied in almost any field and we need people from all different fields to apply. You never know, I never thought in a million years that I would be in this program. So I think you just apply, be confident, and if you don't get in, try again next year. Keep trying because I applied the first year and I didn't get it, but I really wanted this opportunity so I applied again and here I am. So. Yes, apply. <laughs>